Hey everyone, welcome back to the next episode. Now we're just about to go grab our gear, jump on the bike and head down to Southlands. Let's go see what we can go find. Well, let's get going. Out of the water, it's an amazing day. I love it when it stays like this, nice and calm, glassy. What we're we'll do is we're gonna go for a wee swim away from the beach to the reef line. Now it's a wee bit further out the reef line here, but we're gonna give it a wee go. It's not too far. Check what's underneath you. Shoe face up here, it always looks closer from the beach than you realise. Let's go see what it's like. As you can see just behind me, we have South and Beach, which is here, where we would slam out from. A wee bit of a swim, maybe a five, six minute swim, out from the first set of breeze. Look at the sun is there, but, but look at the condition. It's glass. Visibility is not the best, a wee bit cloudy. So let's go see what we can find. I can see some wee cleaning rash just sitting in the reef. Hopefully we can find some angelfish, maybe even a lionfish. Hopefully we can find some stuff. Let's go see what we can go see. Go to log tails to fly above my head right now. They're a native bird to Bermuda, or more famous to Bermuda. They do travel from tropical island to island. But this time of year we have a lot flying above us. So as you can see that one below there, 
just cruising. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't expect him to come and hold it right above me there. Here he comes again. Look at him. There he is. Boom. <laughs> How great is that? Yeah, they must think I'm a fish right now. They keep coming in, hovering right above my head, taking a really good look at me. Here they come again. Stop there. See what they do. <laughs> uh, have to love, you have to love nature. Love it. nice along the first section of reef. Of course if you go further you've got the breakers but you're always better going there from a boat or if you have a DPV um, always be safe when you're going out of course. We're just going to cruise back to the shoreline just now just take in the sun just relax and just enjoy the nice casual swim back. Hopefully we'll be able to find something quite cool. Normally you can get eel rays if you're lucky swimming across here. Um, and very occasionally, especially at night, you can maybe get the odd shark like Galapagos and Dusky. Um, I don't think we're going to be very lucky here. The type of sharks we get in Bermuda, so it's a question we get asked a lot by tourists when they come out. Do you get sharks in Bermuda? Yes we do. Do we see them often? No, not really. Um, your best chance to see them is at night, on a night dive, especially off Cooper's Island. I know the lionfish guys, when they've been going out hunting, they've had lionfish on their spears and sharks at night have pinched them. Normally like a dusky or Galapagos. Other type of sharks we get in Bermuda, we have tiger sharks. Um, apparently we have blue uh, whale sharks, never seen one here. And off the deep reef they say we have oceanic white tip, great whites, again, never seen them myself. Um, occasionally in the springtime we always see hammerheads come here. So Harrington Sound, up in the east of the island, up near the airport, they have a lot of eagle rays up there and other rays, so we always seem to have a hammerhead or hammerheads roll in around about springtime each year or early summer. A few years ago there was actually a hammerhead on one of the famous wrecks here, the Hermes. One of the local dive operators had it here. The dive operator I got out and helped with, we actually went out the next day to go check. Sadly, we couldn't see the hammerhead, but that would have been amazing. There was a footage going about. I will, if I can find it, I will share that footage down in the link below. So you can see the hammerhead that was on um, the Hermes wreck. Pretty cool. Very, very rare to have that in Bermuda. I chose this boiler breaker just right next to the shoreline. Absolutely stunning. The good thing about a nice boiler breaker around here is there's normally loads of life just around it, sheltering under it, and eating kind of like the bacteria and minerals and other nutrients that they would eat bouncing off the waves that are breaking up on here. There's always a great spot around here to find some life. Let's go see what we can go find.
that was fun today. I really hope you guys enjoyed coming out with us. It's got a bit rough coming out, taking the fins off the end to be a bit of a challenge. You can see those waves start to roll in now. Normally it's flat cam. It started off flat cam, beautiful day, but it should have absolutely turned in the last like 10 minutes. But I really hope you guys enjoyed coming out with us. And don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you next time. Cheers everyone.